Hey, you too. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Vercel Postgres with Payload. If you haven't heard of Payload, we're half application framework, half headless CMS. But the funny thing is that we can power way more than just websites. Yeah, you can use Payload for a CMS, and we have live preview and locales and drafts and all kinds of fun stuff like that. But you can also build full backends for any type of app that you can imagine. Native app, e-commerce, SaaS, whatever. We give you auth, we give you a customizable backend, all in TypeScript. We give you everything you need to build the backend for whatever it is you're building, and it's really good. Uh, you should try it if you haven't. But today is about Postgres. We just added Postgres support 2.0, and what you can see on my screen, I'm on Vercel, and I'm on the Storage tab. I'm going to add a database, Postgres, and yep, blah, blah, blah. I think this is fancy, so I'm going to call it fancy. Cool. And bam, it's fast. I don't know how they do that so fast. They just provisioned a Neon DB Postgres database in like a second. Um, also, I don't care if you're going to try and hack my database, so I'm going to show you my secret. Don't do this if you're not me. I'm going to delete this database afterwards. So for now, knock yourself out. But I'm going to copy this connection string. This is what we need right now. And then I'm going to go over to my terminal and I'm going to run npx create payload app. And we're just on the desktop, so I'm going to say fancy. We're going to do the blank template. We have a website template. We have e-commerce. We have a bunch of tutorials and starter packs and all kinds of Next.js stuff. Right now, we're just doing blank, but I'm going to choose Postgres. And here's where you enter your connection string. That's what I copied from Vercel. So I'm just going to paste, but there's one thing you have to do here. You have to add question mark SSL equals true so that you connect with SSL to your database. Hit enter and it's going to start installing dependencies for the new payload project. Bam. Done. Just like that. So now I can CD into Fancy, and boom, I've got a payload project. Let's go open it up in VS Code quickly. So add a folder, go to Desktop, Fancy, boom. Here is a payload project, and it's all code-based, very heavy TypeScript. Everything we do is in TypeScript, even the React admin panel and everything. It's all totally type-safe, which is great. This is the payload config, and what you can see is that Create Payload App installed the Postgres adapter for us. Payload works with multiple databases. Today we're using Postgres, so I've got the Postgres adapter already installed. That comes right from Payload. And we're passing it the database URI, which is in our environment variables. And remember, we gave this to Create Payload App, so it took care of all this for us. So now all I have to do is go over to my terminal and run Yarn Dev. And bam, we're going to spin up a new payload project just like that. It's going to connect to Vercel Postgres. And Drizzle is the ORM that we use in the background. And Drizzle takes care of automatically syncing our config shape out to the database. In dev mode, it pushes schema changes for you, which is very important. You're only going to typically want to do this with a local kind of burner database. But just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to show you how this works. So right now we just have one users collection. That corresponds to our config right here. We just have one users collection. But what's cool is if I go and show you Postgres over here, I can go to the data tab and bam, we've already got tables. Drizzle pushed this like magic to Vercel. I can see I have an email. I've got ID created and updated that on the actual users table. Let's go back over here. Let's add another collection. Let's call it uh, pages. And we're going to say fields, we're going to say name is a title, type is text, and it's required. So I've just added a new collection. I'm going to save this. My terminal is still running in the background, so Drizzle is going to push these changes up to Vercel Postgres for us. And if I refresh this, I can go down and look, and bam, I've got a pages table with a title column. It's like magic. Now, the one thing here... Um, well, I guess I can show you the dashboard too. We've got the pages over here as well, and it's ready to start accepting data. So I can add a page and I can say test, whatever, cool. Go back over here, go to pages, and bam, there is our data. It could not be easier. Very cool. But one thing, I want to make this very clear. You probably don't want to use a remote database for local development because you could potentially push changes to your schema accidentally, like maybe you wanted to comment out a collection or something, that's going to literally remove the table. Of course, we warn you about that, but you should use a local database to build locally and push your changes locally. And then when it's time to go to production, that's when you use your actual production database connection string. 
Um, we're going to do a whole tutorial on payload migrations. Migrations are super cool. They work out of the box. They're first party supported in payload. They work with Drizzle, but we do it in TypeScript. So you can write custom migrations all in TypeScript using Drizzle. You have access to Drizzle underneath the hood with payload. Um, it's all very seamless, but that's going to be another, another time. I'll do that video in maybe a couple weeks or something. Today, I just wanted to show you how quick it is to get up and running with Vercel Postgres. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you found it interesting. I don't know. I didn't really teach that much, but maybe you learned something. It's hard to say, but goodbye.